Marina en Arina wil bedekking waar ik er goed kennen heb gewonnen. Of hij trek 3, 2, 2, regio wil denken box met die 1 hour en 35 minuten. Kan het goed door zijn vlijt en kostje. Almost 14 last years I am shuttling between two countries, Latvia and Norway. I supposed to live in Latvia, but most of the time I spend in Norway since I got my job there. Because of my life, which is probably a bit different from others, Lena, my oldest daughter, always tried to encourage me to start on blog. Well, here is my first attempt. Several years ago, I was used to take ferry and drive car to and back from Bergen, the city where I used to work. Now I take airplane. Flight takes only two hours instead of two days travel by car. I don't live in Riga, so I have to spend another two hours on bus or train before I get home. I'm home back in Latvia for Christmas holidays. We recently bought this car to replace that car while it's at the workshop for service. And uh, it cost me 900 euros. I'm pretty satisfied with that, even though it's quite rusty. Yesterday it was snowing a lot and temperature was around zero. But over the night it dropped to minus 17 Celsius, so I couldn't even start the car. Luckily I got one in garage. Life at home is much more different from when I live in Norway. Often I start to solve problems while during the work months right away as I step off the train. If there is not many things to fix, I just do the chores around the house, like shoveling snow, getting children to kindergarten, school and back. And I love to do that. Being away from home for long periods makes me eager to do all these things. It's funny even for me that this simple mode of life makes me happier. When urgent things are fixed, I love to do different DIY projects. I cannot say that I'm good father and spend enough time with my children, but when we can create something together, it's fun for everybody. On Christmas our family used to gather at our home. However, this year Lena, our eldest daughter, and her fiancé Max are stuck in USA. So only our son Gunther and his girl Arita came from Riga to visit us. Tur ir divas aukliņas virsū, tāpēc kā rīkšķi. Tev jāatlaiž rādītāji pirksts. Šitas pirksts ir jāatlaiž. Tad, tad šitie divi pirksti atlaidīsies. Ja pievilks, abi divi salieksies. Jo, jo zīkšķi nevar uzdabūt, ar īkšķi tad grūti ja. saliekt viņu. Tu uzi tā kā robotiņš.
Kas tas ir tāds? Tā ir robota roka. Tas ir robots? Jā. Firewood is cut in big chunks because we have central heating furnace and it's, it burns longer. Not only chores we are doing together, we love to trick each other. Easiest is to play prank on Cindy. She's afraid of almost everything. Tu nesaprēja.
Opa! Zik, smag! Uhu! Tas ir pērkons. Reku cilvēki naudiņu saliek viņam uz jostas. Tas ir pērkons, man liekas. Viņam zibens rokā. We are going to Rogaļu spring to get some water. It's believed to be very healthy. Latvian goddess Laima. Es līdēsi tu ūdeni, nu būsi tu slavši. Es, kad biju maziņš, mums blakus mājai tecēja upīti, un mēs ar salvi gājām dauzīt ledu pirmo. Un man tāpat ieslīdēja kāja, un es ieslīdēju upē. Un tad arī es noslīktu. Tu vari skriet uz mašīnu. Kaut kāda tu gāzu līdzi. These two guys are going to restore this room and now they found the chocolate they, they lost a month ago. Look at this mess. This is what happens when you have daughters. This is cool. Look at this. Look. Are you sure you are done tonight with all this mess? No, ah. Yes, girls are not predictable. 
Cindy suddenly decided to rehab her room just a few days before I leave for work. Luckily she has her boyfriend Adrian, who is willing to help. <laughs> you see what we found? <laughs> she is not going to talk to me. <laughs> She's still talking. My God, Lord. This wall, this corner, and this wall, we're gonna hang new wallpaper. So that's why we have to take off this first, this wallpaper off. Begin with the baseboard. Take off the baseboard. I need something to pry, pry up the baseboard so I can get access to the screws. I got screwed for everything. We're gonna use the same baseboard. So that's where I set the numbers on them. And on the wall too.
All this, however, didn't hold back us from going for downhill skiing.
I had to travel alone because of my co-worker, who got health problems at home and had to postpone his flight. How it went at work you will see on next episodes. I cannot promise it soon because I haven't much time for video editing, but I'll try to bring it as soon as I can. For now that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.